in its normal status because it's not we're no longer fighting. Yeah, we're not in combat. Um, I'm being one. muted for a couple of minutes uh, before, while we're waiting for or oh, in during the five minutes. Okay. I just need to finish up my work. That is fair. Yeah, it turned out at twenty four you see instead of the twenty seven I was at. So I let's say I got a notification <laughs> that a package might arrive some point in the next hour and a half, so if I suddenly <laughs> disappear that's, that's why. Right. Point that means halfway right. through a sentence because the parcel <laughs> yeah. showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and per usual, we will attempt to take two breaks today. At an actual, it was last last week was great. I ended the session actually having energy left because I hydrated and walked about and didn't sit in a chair for three hours. Don't worry, you're not going to get that because you're playing as uh, him today. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you got your hydration already. <laughs> you need you need the water. <laughs> Oh, why is why do I have to make such hyperactive NPCs? Because you accidentally made my character again. <laughs> I just had to. Uh, it wasn't my fault. I had to just invoke the essence of fire. Yeah. Turns <laughs> <laughs> out the whole of fire is yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> Salvina specifically. <laughs> Mm. I have more trouble than character, again. normally. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Your character's a hot head. Yeah! <laughs> Jamie just wants to sit there and be left alone. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> or walk into a battle line and fight everything that moves. Yeah. Or pick people up. Excuse me, I'm picking this one up, big big bad. Don't mind me. <laughs> big See bad, you you, it's going to take you too long to drop me. You might as well go and hit someone else. Have said that before. Was accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Having three enemies wail on you the entire time, and you just go, are you guys finished? It's We're taking a while here. <laughs> I love playing the tank. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not quite as tanky as him yet, but I'm getting there. You need to put your, pull your finger out and just get Paladin already. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> David's de decided he's determined to help me with that next. Uh, Good. Next, <laughs> next time. Because Davy's a warrior. Uh, uh, I've decided that I'm. Going to do something at the, our first muster anyway. Fun. I'm probably not going to yeah. see the first muster again. No. <laughs> if anything's to go by, me even setting off like three hours early doesn't mean I make it in time for the first bloody muster. So. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm also going to try and do as much weapons checking as I can, <coughs> considering that has already banked me three full cards. Hell yeah. For, for next, uh, when we get there. I'm going to invoke essence of got told that I'm probably getting called for an undead owlbear monster slot. <laughs> I'm not fighting you. No one I wants that to one. Die. I thought the owlbears are nasty. Yeah, I know. I'm usually the owlbears. And when I'm not the owlbears, I draw with the owlbears. <laughs> I drew with my owlbear. The ref came and told to them that's enough when I dropped. That was when we were fighting the... Helping the... Yeah. The Griffins? Yeah, the Griffins are all uh, bears for, for the Griffins at the moment. They've not quite... The refs haven't quite spread the stat block around yet, but they're getting there. Yeah. They're, there is talk. Yeah. Uh, I also, also love that, that I walked into the monster room because there was a Griffin monster slot at all had been mentioned about. And the Griffin ref turned around and went, ah, yes, they've got our usual suspects in. We didn't even ask you this time. And I went, no, someone else did. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, someone else like went, the... do you want to be a big monster for the Griffins? And I went, done. <laughs> I did like the late night uh, book fest as well. That was quite fun. Nice. The, the, or the unicorns. Yeah, the uh, Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. Uh, I... We ran a uh, we ran uh, a faction out of magic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> through I, sheer I attrition. Of, I thought of ways to make it uh, could have been more funny, like just like have 
because I had I was allowed to resur uh, resurrect people, but I never got to use that power. It would have just been funny to res all you guys and then just see them try to pop you all again. <laughs> <laughs> they were having fun doing that. That's the point. Unicorns are great. I have a good idea for one that would really work for them as well. I put a, a claw beastie, but yeah. more like the witch from... Uh... Oh, I've just realized something. We haven't used yes. Im's portrait yet. No, we're still using... Oh, yeah. I forgot you made one. Yeah. <laughs> Give me ten minutes. <laughs> I made one on the day. <laughs> I haven't actually added aces in here yet. Boy, I've loved that. Do, 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 do. But yeah, something like the witch from the Method Dead. Yeah. Just sitting outside the camp crying. I've done and that. Then gets... I've done that kind of creature before. <laughs> and then gets to then gets to use terror for one to make them run away. Nah, the the, or at the, least... the witch the witch type creature is um sits there, and then when disturbed, it's harm on every hit. <laughs> With claws. That's, that's how it's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I need to po Actually, I should poke the refs about that. <laughs> can I... Can we do this? Claw beastie. <laughs> Zombie in your one that you want to be Night of the Living Dead just sits there weeping. <laughs> and then is really <laughs> nasty. Mm-hmm. Like just one or two of them occasionally, that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, I think I think I have forced. I, I have asked politely, and they are continuing a plot line. In, yeah. Uh... You better watch. We're gonna end up being too much plot line for everyone else. No, it's <laughs> fine. Our group's our group's gonna be requested for everyone's fucking plot line. I already <laughs> am. <laughs> We literally have the rep now because I keep going and just going, yep, yeah, we're the fanged. Just send me a message and I'll get what you want. Mm -hmm. We have gribblies. <laughs> Sooner or later, we'll not get to play our own characters, you know, if you keep up that. I, 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 I've spent... Now, so many people that always went, I've barely seen you this event. Where have you been? It's like, I have literally been monstering for half of it and the other half have been in character and just not bumped into you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have we waffled a bit LARP enough for you to start your intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's um, let's go do ahead, go do do voice checks. Um, Alvina, what happened last time? How day we bodied a bunch of power armor giants. Really, just uh, destroyed them. We had a giant monkey that. <laughs> grabbed and was bat invisible. an invisible giant giant monkey that bodied them uh, i jumped into space murdered a gi uh, murdered a giant and then kicked back onto the ship because they kept not getting onto the ship so i went i'm gonna have to take this to my own hands i'll go to them <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, go to them you did yep it was fun oh and, and uh, Lou turned off about five giants just instantly oh, yeah <laughs> yeah. MVP Lou. Yeah. MVP Lou. <laughs> just, just pack off. Ding. Zormir, what happened last time? Yeah, well, we started that off with the uh, turning uh, the the monkey invisible and giant, and also threw their their own invisible rock that Alvina spotted at their own rocks. And then every time they tried to significantly throw it back at us, <laughs> we threw it back at them with even more power. <laughs> and they got to the point where they just kind of went, nope, we're out of here. And <laughs> we've captured a couple of them by the end of it, after stealing the rest of the armor. Oh yeah, we also discovered that Alvina's eyes have uh, a very entertaining sight range on a battle map. Because mm -hmm. Chris made a gigantic map and it wasn't even half of Alvina's line of sight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it was supposed to be a slow paced one. It was quite slow paced. Yeah. yeah, it was quite slack. Yeah, I, I uh, enjoyed it. 
Is Fukyu back? It's been back. Yeah, I'm back. Been Fukyu, you. what happened last time? <laughs> Ook. <laughs> Ook. <laughs> Ook. <laughs> done. <laughs> Ook. Yeah, done. <laughs> all, all that really happened with Fukyu, he, he ooked quite a lot. You bodied them that hard. They said, you bodied them that hard. They thought there was a force field on the ship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. It was beautiful to watch. Gwen, what happened last time? Uh, pretty much just tried to make a fire giant strip on deck, but that's about it. Never came to pass. <laughs> oh, which is sad. That would have been very fun. It, it is sad because we don't know if it works or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could try it again with another one. <laughs> Maybe in yeah, space, true, true. which would be even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> in space. If it works with one, imagine just like a whole load of them. Mass command <laughs> strip. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, star point the wrath of Alvina <laughs> last week. Um, I had a lot of my kills stolen, so I decided to just like sit in the gun and watch the next group trying to get some tactical ideas. <laughs> I yeah. didn't notice your name. I also That's made the monkey big. I didn't notice you the name. That's amazing. <laughs> Plus. So that it is, and I'm Chris McKenzie. I'll be your DM for today on episode 105, A Tactical Giant Part 2, as we continue with the giant arc. Okay. The party had previously captured two of the giants, stripped them off their iron iron giant armor. And you have currently got them in the uh, uh, modified cage. Um, yeah, you've, you've, you've kind of weakened the effect a little bit so they're still conscious, but their powers uh, over pyromancy have been dampened significantly so they can't actually fire blast you from within the cage. I also believe they are technically handcuffed with, like, iron bars because we just did because we've kind of got a broken cage. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's fair. <laughs> and they are there on the top deck inside that cage. Um, now, I believe previously you wanted to discuss the the princess. I can't remember if we went to go grab her. I'll put her out all down over here for now. Yeah, her icon is um, now in the chat, by the way. Yeah, I'll grab that and upload it in a second. I... And yeah, this is where we, we bring back off. Um, you're all mostly on top deck. What would you like to do? Okay. I think we'll... I, I can't remember if we actually were going to grab her. Were we grabbing her right now or we're going to wait a little bit and then grab her? Uh, go grab her. Okay. Go Alvin grab will, him Al, now. Alvin will be going to grab her. Okay. It'll okay. make this uh, a bit smoother, I It'll think. make it more confusing, that's for sure. <laughs> Did she not... You... I was going to say, was she not there... At the end of the last session? Like, That's why I can't remember if we went and grabbed her or not. Because yeah. she was definitely yeah. just I, in I think... Alvina's room reading. I think we were going to go and grab her to try and get our prisoners to yeah. send the message back that they should surrender. Oh, oh yes. no! Yeah. Oh, yeah, as well. Oh, no, she, she, she doesn't want the fire giants to know that we're here. She technically, I think, came out the door when we ended because I didn't want to do any role play of her because I was already exhausted mm -hmm. and I was going to say it for Cold the beginning up. of the session. Then Alvina um, didn't have to go very far to fetch her. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, as as we all know, when you start start when you start the new episode, you actually start like ten minutes before the end of the previous episode, and you can mm. slightly retcon anything <laughs> because we're not like a little weary and tired after doing yeah. like a three hour. We, we get the previously combat. on, which Pre might be slightly different to what was actually previously on. Ah, yeah, yeah exactly. we do one of those shows. Got it. <laughs> so, if you would like to uh, change course for whatever reason, maybe something changed over the week, uh, you can do. Otherwise, I will just have her show up in a second. I'm I'm fine with her being here. Yeah. I mean, she's going to notice them sooner or later. So yeah, they're kind of hard to hide. They are two giants, and also we'll go in and they'll be immediately off kilter because it's like, well, there's the princess just kind of walking around quite normally. So these are giants. Why are they so small? There we go. <laughs> yeah, giants. half of your god in there. right here. No, a third of you god. Oh, is there? Well, the, her dad's still alive. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> So he's not going to wear the Imix split into Im and Ix. No, he's their dad. <laughs> like, yeah, I've spoken he's... to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. He's the reason we're here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her icon really stands out on that map. Look at that. I am very...
very yeah. proud of it, honestly. It's oh, great. Wow. That's very good. <laughs> All right, as you are all discussing this, the door to the quarters deck opens and out comes the radiant, the glowing, the hotness incarnated. <laughs> it is him from the top deck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, perfect. Hey, um... Shall we catch Hello? some fire giants? Yes, we have... Uh... Captured two of the uh, giants from. Was it Iron? What's the name of the fort again? Iron, 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 Iron Forge. You're yeah, thinking Iron Forge, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to be That's confused with Steam Forge or Titan Forge. Or Iron Forge from WoW. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you already said that one. Yep. Um. Uh, we were wondering if you could help us uh, negotiate the surrender. Mostly because they're a little angry right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm pretty confident that that you've already kind of got them captured there. I don't I don't think there's much need for these two to surrender. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're cool f with surrendering, right? They're I'm kind of just like staring wide-eyed at the princess. No <laughs> response to you. <laughs> Hello! Wake up! I'm uh, speaking it, by the way, speak if it helps. Give me a persuasion check. Or an intimidation, depending on how much you're shouting at them. Your choice. I have neither. So, <laughs> I have still haven't learned persuasion yet. We're getting there. Uh, I mean, uh, fuck you and Alvina both speak Ignan. So you can help. Be able to... give me an... yeah. I'll give you an assist. How about that? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is actually just to grab their attention. If you actually want a response or any dialogue with them. Yeah. Otherwise, they are mouth open staring. <laughs> Gawping. <laughs> uh, fuck you, say, say to them. You fuck faces. What, what are you doing? Why are you attacking us? <laughs> Hello? Smack his hands together. <laughs> Go. <laughs> that guy's an assist, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can have you have advantage if you want. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, am I wrong or is um? You're rolling. I've got wrong. zero. I have zero. So you're rolling. <laughs> which, which that was it again? Sorry. Persuasion, uh, persuasion or, or intimidation, depending on like how you're effectively trying to get their attention. I'll leave it up to you. I'm happy to be there. It's mostly a flavor thing. Oh, advantage. Mm -hmm. With my plus fifteen intimidation. That's why. <laughs> plus fifteen <laughs> versus plus zero. Oh, <laughs> nearly a nat twenty as well. <laughs> Okay, I think that grabbed oh, their that attention. Was, that was a I don't fourteen, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. As the very scary goblin shouts at them, <laughs> they they very quickly like startle back to back to attention. They close their their gaping mouths and and stare at the rest of the party. And uh, presumably in ignorance, since you you have demonstrated you can speak it and yeah. they're mm -hmm. probably a little bit too shocked to translate into common mm -hmm. you've kidnapped the princess no we've freed the princess we rescued her from the kidnappers why why not no. they don't ask me to princess, <laughs> have, have they harmed you in any way Mm, not that I can think of. <laughs> is she saying that and Ignan as well? Of she is. Or are we... This is an Ignan conversation. <laughs> yeah, this is an Ignan conversation. You're all standing there awkward. They'd be like, I wonder what they're saying. <laughs> Just sound of roaring <laughs> fire back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> can someone start translating or I'm going to get very annoyed at this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. If they're on the top deck of the sh ship, didn't I do the, trans the language thing on the top deck as well? With Hello. That Pretty I don't brother. know. I know you did the kitchen. I think I did the yeah, top we... deck as well for in for situations very much like this. Okay. Also, I don't you speak primordials or mere primordial is ignorant. <laughs> uh, deep speech and. Oh, Gwen speaks primordial, so I have a vague yeah. idea. <laughs> you can understand it. Primordial is just the four elemental languages built into one. Yeah. Yeah, Ignan, Ignan is a dialect of primordial. Yeah. 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 Is, 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 I is, 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 is Italian. It's Jordy! 
<laughs> Slash Shield Common and Deep Speech for interesting. Um, I vaguely remember Gwen doing something like this, and you've had the time to do it yeah, since right. it's not really a resource limitation, so I'll allow this. Cool. You can it all understand the in. roaring fire conversation it, that's happening. It kicks in now. <laughs> Zombie has been blocking it out this entire time. <laughs> I think everyone yes. else here understands it. You all heard that. Um, the giant's response to that would be to look at all of you and effectively just ask, what are you planning to do with her? I mean, she wants to come with us on an adventure, come... I believe. Yeah, she wants to come with us. We're eventually going to give her, like, take her back. But when she wants to but... go, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that sounds right. Yeah. But you... you you're... You're the enemy. You 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 stole the fire star. No, we didn't. What? <laughs> then why why did you just come from the fire star? Because uh, no, that was a mouse. Um, someone else stole that. Hmm. Uh, someone... Why do you have it? Because it's ours. It, no, it, it yes, belongs. It belongs to the monarchy. Um. Uh, <laughs> well, we've acquired it now. <laughs> <laughs> and the monarchy is with us. Well, the princess is with us. Yes. And they look at uh -oh. each other. Who's the princess's ship? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, can they really be have stolen it when the owner is on here with them? <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Well, then and... you should probably tell Lieutenant General Betamix this. And oh, yeah, yeah. We our, his... our latest report was was that enemies of of the monarchy had stolen the ship, and if we caught them, we could burn them. You know no, that, that... we're not the enemies. You know that I. We're have... freelancers. We're on a line. You know that I am the one who helped design that weird armor you made. Oh yeah, wearing, he literally wearing. made the stuff you were wearing. I was the one who made the deal with the other brother before he oh, took, wait a minute. <laughs> took over. Oh, wait a minute. Shut up. <laughs> Why? What, what do you mean a deal with the other brother? Also, you didn't make the deal with the other brother. You weren't Someone there. Someone did. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> also, out of game. No, I made a Bob, deal. Be, sir. That's not with the brother, that was with the smith. Well, I made a deal with the Smith to be able to. Also, that was a back. secret deal. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. Yeah. Also, uh. you don't announce your deals to people, just yeah. in general. Alvina was the one that made the deal with the young with the younger brother, which is why she's not saying it. <laughs> well, what are you going to do with us? I mean, do you uh, want to come along? Recruit you? When. No, we're not part of the princess's vanguard. We we're under the orders of 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 Lieutenant General Betamix. Oh, oh well, did you uh, want to be a do under you the command of the? I mean, do you want to be part? Of... <laughs> do you want a promotion? Well, you aren't able to to grant us that. Uh, we we're honor bound to, ah, to Lieutenant yeah. General Betamix. Fair, fair enough. Surely the princess is though. Well, no, it's their direct commander, right? Oh yeah, but royalty can do stuff like that, surely. Mm. Well, I mean, surely she should be your like a uh, general in chief or something like that. Yeah, your boss's boss's boss. Yeah. Oh, that's not really how the monarchy works, though. Yeah. Like they they have the freedom to do what they want. It's just giants are very honor bound. So I assume Betamex trained them up, and now they're sworn loyalty to him. Hey, it's entirely yeah, surely they should be honor bound to you as well, though, because they're your well, not, subjects. Well, not necessarily, right? Because it's He's the one well, that trained them, so they're invited to him. They can if they like follow her, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, they have the freedom to follow me, but they, they're under no, like... Like I said, Would the monarchy you... doesn't really have laws. Yeah, it's not an obligation. They just can. A every entity gets to do what they want. That's the foundation of the elemental philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> then would you not be honor-bound to accompany us until we return the princess back to the monarchy safely. Uh, no. We were honor-bound to follow the orders of Betamix, and yeah. the order of Betamix is to 
we've we've established this <laughs> is to is to destroy any anybody on the fire star and reclaim the fire star it is already reclaimed well not not by lieutenant general betamix it's not no basically here's the bit you now so have all the actual facts we're not the enemies right so you mm -hmm. can go back and tell them it's all fine the princess is with the ship Okay. So there's no reason to go and attack us. You've all well, done I... your job. You went and checked it out. You were great. Well, I, we, we can convey this information, but I I don't think Lieutenant General Bayamix is gonna is gonna care it without proving like witnessing it himself. I mean, he can come around, I guess, right? But then, what about if he signs something for you? Oh, Ooh. yeah, maybe. Is that proof of evidence? Not really. Yeah, fair. If she, not even if she puts a, like a royal seal or something on it. Oh, I don't okay. have my royal seal. I lost my amulet when I was captured. Well, but oh. if you like, do wait a, a minute. What does the amulet look like? <laughs> a bit of paper. Wait, what does the amulet look like? I'm just an amulet. It's got a little dragon skull on it. Oh, okay. I haven't seen anything like that, have I? No, because I'm assuming Fuku's got it hidden away. Yeah. It's that amulet, right? It's that amulet, right? Which amulet? The amulet of evil Ultimate that he's evil. currently wearing? or? Yeah, yeah. It's it's the official seal of, of the monarchy. Yeah. I was literally going, wait a minute. The one that, the the one that has blatantly openly seen. wearing. Yeah, and Alvin has blatantly seen because she went, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then yes, you have seen it. Uh... Yeah, Fuggy's not hide hiding it. He's it's... openly wearing it. Yeah, Im can I guess see it's it. It's not technically a dragon. It would just be like a skull. Because I think it's like a demon esque. Well, that might be a flaming skull, right? Like Ghost Rider looking. That makes sense, right? Oh, yeah, let's do that. There you go. Yeah. I wanted a little bit of fire themed in hindsight. I just kind of went with the visuals of the. The standard one, which evil. is a dragon. Um, right? But I realized I actually kind of do want it to be a little bit more fire based now. Yeah. So, flaming skull. Flaming skull symbol. We like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, my amulet. <laughs> No, this is my amulet. Ah. Uh, uh, hmm. I, I I found it. It's mine. Would it would it work? Mm. Would it? I guess I could just disintegrate you for it. <laughs> Please you don't. Try. He's great. I'm immortal. Please go. Oh, he's great. Could we fuck you? Use it because it's it like waste, it's, it looks the same. So it's basic. It's probably just another one of the same thing, right? Yeah, like a knockoff. Yeah. So it would work, right? Because you don't have yours at the moment. Well, well, my, mine is uh, imbued with, with the essence of evil. Uh, you leave an evil mark, so if it's a knockoff and it doesn't have the essence of evil in it, I won't be able to effectively sign with it. What? what, what, what? Well, evil, you say? Well, yeah, it's got a bit of my father, of, uh, not my father, it's got a bit of the king in it. The grandfather. It's got a bit of, a, yeah, it's got a bit of my grandfather in it, and that's, <laughs> that's what gives it its official... You know. And, oh. and do you little shit are oh. wearing it? I mean, he's fine, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, uh, it's not. There's an, easy way, there's an easy way to check. So, it's evil. So it's very blatantly evil if you touch it, right? Uh, Well, I, I guess my grandfather does have a corrupting presence, so sure. Cool. I don't really understand what this concept of evil is, but... Oh, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah, King Evil. Yeah. That's just what I was reading, because it's from him, so it would or have... I like to call him Grandfather. Grab. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I could probably check if seizure. it's evil, if it's got if it's got the mark on it, and we could see if it's good enough. Right? Well, just so you know, though, like while like that would probably be a little persuasive, um, they're under no obligations to follow it still. Mm-hmm. So make sure whatever you do write to them is convincing and then it can be backed up by the seal. Yeah, I mean, you can write it. Oh, what do you want me to write? Point! Uh -huh. Point! I'm not, I'm, I'm not really supposed to be I'm, here, remember? I'm keeping look out. Yeah. There's still so I can't a bunch tell of them that I'm on the Fire Star because then they'll know I'm on the Fire Star. Mm -hmm. Just be saying something like, you're safe, you're on an undercover mission. Uh... Leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Can we just check something? Because I think we've 
just went straight past a little bit. Fuck you, are you evil now? What do you mean now? I mean more evil. More evil <laughs> are you than more you were evil before? I mean there was a little voice, so yeah, probably. Okay. I'm gonna change your alignment next time I sleep. Just to let you know, okay? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just murders him in his sleep. No. Just dead. <laughs> Wakes up next morning, desiccated corpse. <laughs> so there's no lose if we do or don't then. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I, I'll check <laughs> if it's evil. I mean, it'll, it'll be bad for you. But yeah. Do you, mind, do you mind if I touch it for a second? You can keep wearing it. Fuck you. Okay. Look, cool. if, if I've rushed up at this point... I'll, I'll, you, you literally are watching, point. You, you can stop Alvina, but she's about to touch the giant okay, evil amulet of doom. Let me do something first. Okay. Um, let's see if this does anything. Um, I'm going to cast protection from evil and good on. Fuck you at level four, I think. Okay. It doesn't have any bonuses okay. being upcast. So I'm just putting a little more power on it. Hopefully, do a little bit more. Protection. Mechanically, this won't do anything. Thematically, it might. Play thematically, it will. What does um, protection from evil and good do again? It's advantage on a bunch of saves. Oh, and it is concentration, so I can make you not evil for 10 minutes. Oh. A creature you touch protect against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey fiends, and undead. A bunch of creatures have disadvantage to attack you. Uh, you can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target mm -hmm. is already charmed, frightened, or possessed, but creatures it has advantage on the new saving throw against the relevant effect. So I guess it means that you, can, if you, if he's mind controlled, which I'm pretty sure he's not, it would help. No. Mechanically, <laughs> it won't have any any benefit. Um, are you doing it on Fuku? You said I'm doing it on Fuku as opposed to the Alvina amulet. <laughs> Oh yeah, more mostly yeah. carried those on. I, on, I might do a, oh, yeah. a regular one on Alvina as well if this does nothing. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything to fuck you, uh, because the amulet's not actually attacking fuck you. It, it likes him. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I'm just I'm trying my breath. Knew it was already evil. <laughs> yeah, fuck you doesn't like get unpossessed because they're not possessed. <laughs> okay, then I'll, I'll do a level one one on Alvina. Cool. Okay. This is probably going to matter. Uh, so yeah, Alvina touches the amulet. What is your alignment? Oh, chaotic good. <laughs> That's why the she's oh, doing no. it. <laughs> the opposite. Okay. I'm about to take a lot of damage, guys. You take 34 points of damage. Necrotic yep. damage. Uh, there is no save to this. Oh, yep. wow, you already did it. Yep. Uh, however, but I will effectively half it for the protection. Oh, that's cool. So that is down to 17. They're protecting you against evil, so thematically that part at least makes sense. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is like just black lightning, probably on average. So I was like, yeah, yeah, this doesn't do anything for Fuku. Yep, well, yep, that's the real one. Ow! Great, can I have some help, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, not that. Wrong number first. I do not have 174 max health. <laughs> <laughs> Level 13. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That is definitely a genuine copy. Article, you mean? Maybe. It's a genuine replica. Yes. I don't think the Evil replicas. has definitely... Just stop talking, zombie. <laughs> You're making it worse. <laughs> Yeah, that's a legit one. And I mean, he's like, she's just swipe, we like, um, flicking her hand. Like, she feels a lot better now. But. <clears throat> yes, what, 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 what's the party's plans from here? There was some visual effect, uh, right? For her touching it. Right. That'll, that'll yeah, you can, do, you can do black necrotic lightning. That's yeah. fine. So, yeah, I'll that is. For a minute. That is definitely it. Whew. Mm. Like, it does force you to effectively, like, drop it. Um, so, like, uh, getting your hand repelled makes sense. Yeah. Kind of, kind of what I imagined. Because that feeling is extremely chaotic good. <laughs> like, that is very, very uh, opposite. Huh. Of... I've never actually seen anyone have that reaction to the official seal. Mm. You guys must be evil. <laughs> uh, well, no, because his name is evil. So I'm not named evil. Well... 
Right, but from our perspective, our our evil is correct, and therefore you're the opposite. So I guess if we were to use your words, you're the evil ones. You want to control people. I don't. Who do you call your grandfather? Well, I know they're king evil. Yeah. But that's just a moniker. I'm I'm saying that if from our perspective, I, I know it's very confusing because both words are evil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But evil's just a, a noun. Uh, you guys must be adjective evil. No, no I'm just... I, I find I'm the honestly... linguistics of elementals fascinating. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm just more yeah. in line with the uh, the more fiery <sighs> parts. I don't have the... I don't know. There's a weird one for it. I'm a bit more communal. Let's go with that. That's probably the way for it. I'm a little... Temperament. Yeah, it's just a different vibe of it. I don't... There's nothing wrong communal. with your point mm. of view, just for reference. Hmm. But yeah, I'd rather we didn't tell Betamax that I'm here. From what I remember, Betamax is kind of a simp mm. for the monarchy. <laughs> and oh, wait a um You're not allowed to say that on Twitch. <laughs> you're not allowed to say That's that. That's a bad word. Twitch. That's a bad word. It, it, Ignore he's, that. He's he's very simple in his following yeah. of the monarchy. What? That is actually a thing. That was banned. Okay. <laughs> Fascinating. I think because of the sheer amount of. It's because a lot of people well, said it, it with negative context. People said it with negative context. No, that was a unknown one. Please don't get us banned. <laughs> don't report it. Not to say I'll avoid that word going forward. Yep. Now. Twitch is fascinating <sighs> sometimes. Um, they're 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 a royalist. <laughs> they're a royalist. Yeah. Okay. And um. <laughs> Unfortunately, probably will not believe that I'm not being mind controlled. They're also right. a bit of a traditionalist, and the idea, and and they've always disagreed with my views that you know, noids are people too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, adorable little people, aren't you? <laughs> Does she give Alvina a oh, head pat? I absolutely imagine she's giving Alvina a head pat. Well, do... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they deserve our protection. They are friends, not food. <laughs> okay. I'm... I'm glad she doesn't have your level of appetite, Alvina, but she's very much like you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, if Betamax learns that I'm here, he will be relentless to get me back on the assumption that no matter what I or you say, I have been brainwashed. Okay. From what I remember <laughs> of Betamax. I've only met him a couple times at, like, yeah. functions and all that, but... Mm -hmm. I I know the kind of fan. Yeah, yeah, I know the kind of thing, yeah. Uh... Well, easy. Easy way. We don't sign it from you. We put the royal seal on it, so someone is there. Right. Or is it? Actually, I think that's just going to raise. Need... Well, well, it might. Hmm. Are they unique? They probably have we like. Claim your, fire. your brother sent it. Uh, well, it'll, 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 it's unique in that it could be anyone from the fire okay. side of the monarchy. Hmm. Um, because we each have our element also imbued in it with with the evil element. Hmm. Do you have any siblings that might have been nearby that may have tried to reclaim it for you? Oh no, X doesn't come this far out. He calls it the sticks. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's not wrong from what I've heard. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, I quite like traveling. Um, so I volunteered to come uh, d deliver uh, the reports for uh, for, for the, the scrap lands. Um, but I X wouldn't be caught dead out here. As for. How about you say you're going to ca get another report from some other newly established camp? All right, but then that, that would that, that would, that would that inform me that I'm here. We need to figure out a way to do it and to convey it that doesn't say she's here. Hmm. Mm. Please and thank you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Double no. thumbs up. <laughs> Let's say if, if we just say. Are you this... sure we can't convince you to come along with us? Uh, I mean. It would be a lot easier. Are you I saying this to... we need to... the giants? I'm assuming. <laughs> giant. Yeah. I don't suppose we could say you lent us the Firestar there, while you're elsewhere. 
Ben no, Yoder's in, in, sort of in front of all the giants as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're not a smart party. Let's be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I, I still think the concept of me lending you the Firestar is still still out of the realm of possibilities for Betamex's traditional thinking that they are going to be suspicious that you've used charm magic on me. Yeah. Mm. Because that's the thing, you know. Mm. Like, you genuinely could just cast Dominate Monster on me. Really? Oh, Can I? No. Well, I mean, it'll be very hard oh, for yeah, you yeah. to succeed, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Do any of us have... If enlarge any one of them me have a large reduce i think zor made those right yes if you give me time to <laughs> give no then <laughs> no then <Same. laughs> yes i've got it prepared how about we enlarge alvina huh? got it. i was say okay I was say Why? Self, but i can only alter self myself to look like a fire giant and say with one of her guards coming over to explain i can't speak Giant. <laughs> I can speak Eggman. But also, I can only disguise myself. So, ah, uh, tongues is not concentration. Oh, wait a minute! So I oh, could oh, oh, wait, wait a minute! I just remembered something. I don't think this. I think this one might be able to be cast on others. Does anyone have seeming? Do not currently. No. The se seeming is essentially like a Ooh. full party. No. Uh, no one happens to have true polymorph just out of the blue, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, so could we oh, put yeah, one of us? It, so it's fine. It's could sure. we put can... one of us in some of the armor we took off these guys? Isn't true polymorph like level and nine? <laughs> We well, have to check, right? You never know when someone's got a secret yeah. scroll of it or something out of nowhere. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time in a campaign that has happened for me that someone accidentally <laughs> just got during their own personal storyline a ninth level spell scroll. <laughs> the only two <laughs> people I think could control the armor with fire. <laughs> let Alvina and fuck you just mm. look at each other, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you can too. give Alvina tongues. Yes, but is Alvina going to be convincing enough to... Uh, it's ooh, big uh, armor. We could do two adventures in a trench coat. We're not that tall. You realize that, right? <laughs> mm. I am six foot. They're 15 feet tall. <laughs> You're six foot. I'm just short of five that's 11 we just need Ooh, a third maybe person you can do like three or four people in in an armor suit are we just going to turn a whole group into uh an uh, a mech <laughs> weekday week at um i don't know burning burning week weekend weekday at burning <laughs> at bernie's but it's no that's what i mean burning <laughs> i mean if if the suits aren't able to do long distance travel, then Betamex must have a ship nearby. Maybe you infiltrate it and disable it so he can't follow us. And then we get the hell out of here. And I get to go adventuring. That's always a good plan. Well, yeah, that was always the backup. It's just if we can convince him to go away and not try and follow us. That's better. Mm, I don't think he'll believe you unless he's able to see that I'm, like, confirm I'm not being possessed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which, Which is a whole other don't... kettle of fish, right? Well then, like, well, then, like, prove that I'm here, and then we'd have to kill him, or he's gonna try and, you know, tell everyone where I am. Yeah, he's gonna snitch. Let's just go and infiltrate the ship, I think. Yeah. And my father will want me home. Yeah. Oh, we're we, we are, we are saying now. that we're rescuing you to your dad. Oh, yeah. have you Remember that. That was the agreement. That no, we haven't gotten around got to it yet. yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's not tell them for like a year or so. No, we've got to, we've got to say that we rescued you, and that you're on the way back. But that's it. Oh yeah, that was the plan. That's yeah. The plan. Yeah, yeah, and then you know it's gonna take us. By the time we're supposed to get back, well, at that point it's been a year, and Al likes traveled. Yeah, because we are gonna take you back eventually, but you gotta get your adventure first. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. That does raise the question of what do we do with our two friends here? What do you want to do? 
I'm looking at the giants again. What? Yes. Oh. You're involved what in this. What would you prefer? You, this is your part of the discussion, as it's you. I <laughs> uh, release us. If we and do, um, you just going to release, immediately what betray would you us. Do it immediately, immediately you're not going to immediately betray us, right? We will not immediately betray you. And you're not going to wait immediately... five minutes and then and you're do not going to betray, betray us, us in the next, say, six months. What do you define as betrayal? What? This is a very vague contract. Uh, uh, tell them mm -hmm. um, that we are enemies and that we've kidnapped the princess or anything like that. Uh, we promise we will not tell them that we are enemies and that you've kidnapped the princess. Mm -hmm. It's a good start. Um, and also not attack us. Oh yeah, we and also not just attack don't attack you. us immediately and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. or, we can... or take action that will cause others to attack us. If we find, if well, we find we, out, we can't, you... we can't control others. No, oh, yeah, you. If, if you, if you think an action will go, will cause people to come and attack us, don't do it. Yeah, you'll. Well, what, what if this interferes with previous honor bindings to to tell the truth? If, uh, if it's to tell the truth, yes. Basically, unless they specifically ask you for the details, you'll omit certain details. But if they tell you, like, then fair enough. What, what kind of details? Uh, I'll write uh, lies. Just be a good shot. I'm not ass assuming you're not gonna lie. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, but... d don't mention that the princess is here. Oh, we can't do that. Mm. We can't. We can't agree to that. Mm. That would be dishonorable. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What about if you agree uh, not to tell them? You're the muted for like a week. No. Tell. Don't. Basically. Uh, don't tell them the princess is here unless directly asked the question, is the princess here? Omission, omission of the truth is still a lie. Damn it. It was dishonorable to withhold information from your commanding officer when you know it is pertinent to the mission. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, then you can tell uh, them that they are safe and they're busy with their work. But they're not going to believe them. Could you say that... We're turning to not say that the princess is here. <laughs> That's the core of what we're doing. So... Yes. C could we're you not say saying that, that they're that, here. That the... We're just saying that they are safe. It doesn't have to oh, say where funny. they are. Just say Would it be honourable for you to say the princess was captured by Celestials, she was freed, but not elaborate any further? Right, but then we're still not telling them that they're on the ship, which which is pertinent to the mission. Okay. Why Can don't you hide Actually, in no, a wait, corner wait, for wait, like wait, wait, an wait, hour wait, until No, wait, wait, wait. Your mission is was yeah. explain exactly what your mission was. To chase down the fire star and reclaim it from the enemies. Cool. That not doesn't has enemies. nothing to do with the princess being here. The two fire giants look at each other. Give us a moment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just went. I just went. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, but if the general asks about the princess, we will not lie to them. That seems fair. That is fair, yes. Okay. This way, and we and we, we all... agree to the we are we agree to the contract that has been verbally put forth, and we are honor bound to uphold it. Cool. I'll okay. shake on it. Well, I mean, just put your hand why up. Why would we shake it's on it? It's annoyed. It's annoyed thing. I, I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> <laughs> we do not wish to partake in annoyed customs. It's a good one. It's an honorable one. It actually is a very honorable one. What is honourable about it? It's basically a sign of trust and agreement. It's basically like the signing of a contract for like a verbal contract, usually. Yes, because Why? You, you, you cannot be holding weapons while shaking hands. Exactly. It but, shows we have no intent to harm each other. Yeah. Immediately. But we don't need weapons to harm each other. No, it's yeah. symbolic. Surely, surely, if anything, your hand is the weapon. So He's you're shaking point. with the weapons. He's got a point. Which means you do have a weapon. If anything, you're showing your enemy mm. that you have a weapon. Which is also honourable, because you're not going to stab him in the back. 
Why would you ever stop them in the back? People do it. I don't get it. I'm Surely against, just I'm the fact that you're not behind me sh proves you're not going to stab me in the back. Hmm. He's making sense. Uh, do you giants have a way of codifying a, a verbal contract <laughs> beyond yes. just saying we agree? Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. Can I just show you what it is? A simple thing. Fist yeah, bump! I did it with a dragon. I, I, that works. I will shake Alvina's. I will shake Zormi's hand. I will shake Alvina's hand. Alvina breaks your hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I changed it. Nope. I don't know. Right, right. We no, we 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 understand what you are proposing here. We just don't understand the reason behind why. It's just a thing you do. It's yeah. What is in it for us to do so? I mean, a dragon I know did it with me, and they were fine with it. Does that count? I mean, you, you don't it's have like, to. This is just us being curious by about cultural customs. It's like us putting forth our seal of approval and your seal of approval onto the contract. Yes. Well, then surely you should. You're the only one that needs to to shake. So just shake your hand in the air, and that will do, right? That's called waving. Wait, 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 he's part, got a point. Part of our seal of approval is touching the other person. No, wait, no, wait, he's you. got a point. Alvina takes her own hand and shakes it. Is that good? Uh, well, I don't, you're the ones that are I'm looking pushing at the others. for this. I'm is looking, that good for all of that's you? I'm looking at the other party members. Is that good? <laughs> I was fine just not shaking on it. <laughs> it was getting a bit weird, frankly. Alvina <laughs> <laughs> just... Alvina... It's getting real awkward. Alvina so. doesn't <laughs> understand concepts. <laughs> Apparently, I've discovered a new fun part about D and D. I apparently I just really like playing obscure, strange customs. <laughs> huh. Did it's I shake fun. the fire giant's hand when I helped him with the armor? I can't remember. No, probably not. I think so. <laughs> or... No. So are you, are you going to release us and give us back our armor? Well, we're thing. still under the deal that you're not going to fight us. Yeah, why not? As soon as you get. Well, that is correct, yes. Yeah. Give the two sets right, back. How much, it's two sets. How much am I deducting? Yeah, how much is the deduction from, from it? Uh, I was three units per suit, so six units. Okay. Um, before uh, we give back the um, suits, uh, Sharky is going to um, pull Zomir aside and be like, do you, do you have any way to like put a tracker or something on these suits so we know where they are at all times? Well, while Zorm uh, is doing that, by the way, I, Alvina is unbending the handcuffs. <laughs> we, we could just put something on it to locate objects. And... Um, I mean, I point, put your weird little, uh, they went that way, voice. On the... <laughs> that doesn't track anything. That's no, but it's funny. Like <laughs> it's funny. Um, I'll etch something in it, so uh, my seal or something. Or yeah, you can put something smart. unique on for the, the sake of locate... Um... I'll put on my maker's Object. mark in it. You notice your maker's mark's already on there. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Probably not. No. It's got the nice symbol of the fire giants on it. Nice. Which was exactly the point where you put your maker's mark. It looks like it's been stamped over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, I put it beside it. To be fair, Zomber only made the prototype. These are all these are all the manufactured ones. I was this chance of this being I mean, the prototype is would, nil. Would it, yeah, would it not be better to put it in somewhere that it's not noticeable, like on the underside of the shoe? It's... Just write your just write your name on the underside of the iron suits. Yeah. With uh, Z backwards. Zed and the R Z and the R backwards. <laughs> Like freaking Toy Story here. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So it's the plan to to send the giants back, have them convey that what what you've said. We are friendly. Don't attack us, please. We're, we're and, okay. And hope that the lieutenant general takes them at their words. Well, well, yeah, that, and also I'm pretty sure we're going to go and sneak into the ship and then disable the ship. Yeah, we are sneaking at the same time. <laughs> okay, right, right, just, just so me as a DM knows what you're planning here. Our plan isn't just go on good faith that these two random mooks can contain to a general, that it's all good, don't worry about it. 
<laughs> the best plan in the world. <laughs> All right. Then I'm going to put potato in the exhaust pipe. <laughs> They're Here's assuming your... that you've given them back their armor. Yep. Uh, yes, Bob? Uh, yeah, I was just going here. Here's your armor. <laughs> I'm guessing Alvino's helping me. <laughs> I've already oh, unbent. I, I, I will be helping you get the stuff while after I fix their handcuffs. Not being handcuffs anymore. Okay, they're already leaving. Yeah. Safe yeah, travels! You can skip the part where we roleplay equipping their armor. Yeah, I'm about to say it's like the it's, it's, it's There's no interest to that. It's instant I equip, it's... right? So yeah, it's close to the level of equipping as mine is. Yeah, it's like two. <laughs> it's like <the> action. <laughs> but yes, you you free them. You undo their handcuffs. Get them out of the cage. You give them back their armor. They use their actions to re-equip it. And with that, they, I guess, give you uh, whatever the fire giant salute was. Yeah, I think like, it was the it was the Roman it was the gladiator one, right? Like fist to the chest. It makes sense for the giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I um, change, can I change that a little bit? Yeah. Fist to the chest, but fingers doing a flame motion. <laughs> what? What's like like almost like um like raindrops on your chest. I mean, is that fist to chest and then wiggle your fingers just because I think it's funny. Or how about? Fist to the chest and then knight their hand. Oh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. How do you uh, wiggle your fist when you're making your fingers when you're making I'm, 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 yeah. This is what I'm, I'm imagining. Imagine, like, like, if you look at my stream at the moment, it's just like, twist your, like, turn your wrist around. Yeah, if you, have Roll. you ever seen, like, um, uh, Attack on Titan? Yeah. And the way they uh, never um, hold their fist inwards and then, like, wiggle with, with your fingers like that. Oh. I was I was fully imagining just the um, so. the, the one that was Not like that yeah, visual. Like, I was imagining like the elemental just the because everything's got pir like one of the elemancies, so it's just ignite it with whatever your elemancy. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so, and I'll then share what I was meaning, but yeah, it doesn't have to be. Uh, and then we're we're tracking them. We have a tracker on them, yeah. Uh, what what specifically are you tracking them with? Because I know you're using the mark, but are you using like locate. Okay, so like raindrops on the chest. Yeah, that's what I was imagining. Because you're like tapping your chest with your fingers. Yeah. Uh, um, were you were you using locate object? I well, think having it available so we can locate them if we need to later. Randy has found the path. Are they a path? That doesn't. <laughs> Does that work like this? No, not at all. Well, anyway, I'm going to assume that with a combination of spells, you can at least probably yeah. find your way there. Um, depending on which kind of spell, it's mostly just to figure out if you had to, like, search a bit because of limitations to distance, like, a thousand feet. Mm -hmm. or, or vice versa. But with that, then, I'm just going to assume we work that out later. Yep. Um, uh, well, we're going to take our first break. Break time! Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Because I'm going to let my cat <laughs> into the kitchen because she's yowling. <laughs> yeah. right. Back in a couple minutes. Yeah. I probably got some other... Spells I could prepare that. I've got a scry, so I can. Oh, yeah, if you've got a scry, you'd definitely be able to find it again. Yeah. And that I'm... would give us location, which would allow Brandy to do the whole find the path as well. Doesn't Randy need to be able to, like, see them or know where they are? Yeah, that's why he's got Scry. Randy's got Scry, gotcha, gotcha. It's Randy who's got Scry and Find the Path. Dormier's also, I don't going. know if that would work, Find the Path, because Find the Path is direct physical route to specific, specific, yeah, specific location on the familiar with, location. that you are familiar with, on this plane that's of existence. Right. So you're not that's familiar right, with it. And it's in space, which is mm. because the dimensions are weird in this one, remember? Uh, I've probably got another spell on them. I just have to... It's That's the ones oh. I've got active the now. I'm not sure which other ones I have in his kit bag that is not prepared. Uh, I do what was the other one, Willow? What are the other ones that we could use? Locate objects, okay. the obvious one. Yeah, I've got locate. Yeah, but that I think prepared. that only works oh. within like a um, thousand feet, though, doesn't it? 
I do have locate. Actually, I do have locate objects prepared as well. With Randy. Actually, yeah, it does have. It has a range. Oh, so that one's up to 10 minutes. Yeah, a thousand feet. Oh. Also wouldn't do it, wouldn't locate. It would be able to get to exactly the outside of the ship. If we're going to be following, then. I'm assuming we're not following directly behind them. Yeah, good point. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. There is spells for it. Yeah, I just don't think any of us have it prepared. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the prepared, prepared bit that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It means an hour of sitting there and re realigning to do it. Uh, look at creature. Look at creature is one, up to an hour. Commune with nature. Would... Don't you have a normal commune with nature as well? I have a commune with nature, but that tells it it pings me certain things, and giants aren't one of them. Mm. I guess they weirdly it would ping him. <laughs> hmm. Unless actually, then it might be. Three miles. There might be a way that it pings for me. It depends what their ship's made of. Because hmm. uh, the, the creatures it pings are celestials, fey fiends, elementals, or undead. There's a chance I can ping the elemental if it's a powered one like the fire stars. It's an asteroid. Yeah, we don't know it, what powers them, though, because if it's the same type of thing that is the power source of the Firestar, like even just a smaller one, that might ping, because that was an elemental. Uh, otherwise, it does ping noteworthy minerals. So if the asteroid is made of something noteworthy... Would the armor done. count? Hmm? Probably not. <laughs> Would what count? I mean, the armor the is armor. special metal. Eh, maybe. I mean, not special, notable. Chris, Chris, would commune with nature. The it can discern noteworthy minerals in a radius. Would that be able to ping either the ship, the asteroid that they're in, or the armor? Would that count under mineral? Uh. Interesting one. Does it detect settlements? Um, I'm here. It's a nature thing, so like, feel Bil like it, it says could. buildings. It says buildings on there. Oh yeah, then I'll allow that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I feel like flavor-wise, yeah. kind of purpose is to determine interesting things in the area. So yeah, so I'll allow it. I mean, it might be able if we get within three miles of it. Hmm. Uh, Alvina can probably ping it. But you know, it's better than the thousand foot limitation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she have a spirit dragon fly around and tell her where everything is. <laughs> Alright, are we all back? I believe so. Yeah. If anyone's yeah. not here, say so. Ah, oh, nice silence. Good, everyone's here. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm here, she's <laughs> an awkward angle. <laughs> All righty then, I'm going to assume we've let the fire giant get a decent distance away, since presumably they're not going to lead you back to their ship uh, based Directly, on honor. Exactly, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but they are unaware that you have implanted ideas or ways to track them. Yeah. So that's fine. Well, they don't know, can't hurt them. Uh, is there anything the party would like to do before you set off to, I imagine, try to find their home base. Uh, I imagine... Uh, you're not that far away from the Fire Star. I assume you've just not properly docked yet. Um, so you can either go back to the Fire Star, do anything of that, you can prep anything and then head off, or you can just head off. I'd say probably um... docking would take like an hour, right, total, 
Even if it's just docking, check with people, say this is what we're doing, then leaving again. It'd take like an hour, right? Uh, try to think how far ahead you went. Probably not like an hour, but like at least half an hour, 40 minutes. I think taking half an hour to do it, good idea. Just literally to just report, this is the plan. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. You do you do have communication stones with the Firestar mm -hmm. for information sharing. Yeah. So you can't just, like, send a message. I think that's a pretty good plan, right? Just send a message going, this is our plan. Uh, I guess keep the same course we were going, because we're going towards the outpost. Right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So send a message saying mm. we're, we're diverting just to do this quickly. Hopefully quickly. It'll take only, like, 20 sessions, probably. <laughs> <laughs> disable the entire ship. All we have Build to do with... is disable the engines. Yeah. And we have to locate the engines as well. That might be actually not too crazy bad, depending on what is powering them. Yeah. yeah it might be the same general if, layout if... as Firestar. Well, I was thinking, if it's an elemental, I can tell where it is. <laughs> When I find the building, I can find what elemental is in there, because I'm definitely going to check for elementals as well. It's going to ping him, and if there's anything else in the area. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, then. So, yes, anybody got anything else? How long are we? Oh, it's half an hour... But we're sending a message so we can head like a bit a bit easier. How long a head start are we giving them before we start following them? And ten minutes. Yeah, they go quite quickly, and right? What are we doing to follow them? And we're not following them a direct path, but we're following like that direction. Meaning, which spellers spells are we using to track them? Because I mean, uh, so I'll if I'll locate objects if while it, they're within range because you get an idea of direction from that. Also, if it's okay. ten minutes, they're still in Alvina's line of sight. Okay. Yeah, I assume we're just <laughs> yeah. gonna like for for initially just wait until they're far enough away that the rest of the party can't really see them because they're little dots, but Alvina still can. So presumably the giants can't see the ship as well. Yeah. Uh, and just kind of like follow them at that distance before they get into a more obscured area where it'll actually cut off the line of sight for Alvina. And at that point, probably switch over to, to more magical means. Does yeah. that sound good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then let me switch you over to our obscured site. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many people. <laughs> it's NPC. There's so many people. <laughs> uh, yeah. You follow the giants back to what appears to be a large cluster of not quite an asteroid belt because it isn't actually orbiting anything, but a large asteroid nebula. Mm -hmm. Asteroid cloud. Ooh, asteroid sure. cloud. That could. Uh, the these again um, are, are relatively. Uh, these, these are kind of like a black porous rock um, that that are up here, and, and they're quite difficult to see against the backdrop. Uh, similar to the rocks, they just kind of flung inwards, suggesting that this is where they probably got the rocks. As uh, only about <laughs> maybe like an hour out from when you started. Uh, so you can get advanced at so short rest if you'd like. Not uh, sure why you need it. I would say it, it recharges any like short rest abilities we've got. Which I'm is... going to press the button. I don't think it does anything, but I don't think I used any of my short rest abilities for once. Yes, sir. Uh... And this is when you lose sight of the giants as you just kind of go through past a couple of the asteroids out in the distance, and by the time you kind of get up to the proper um like the start off the cloud here because yeah this is the interesting part of the actual encounter uh that you can no longer kind of see where where they are only that they entered into this cloud okay so i'd say uh they have entered into the cloud we're following and about to enter the cloud as well i think this would be when alvina starts casting commune with nature that's fair what questions would you like um the obvious, I'd go buildings, uh, noteworthy minerals, 
because it, between those two would probably count. And powerful elementals. I know I'm getting gonna get pinged for him, but I'm, <laughs> I'll be just trying to check for anything other than him because she does get like the specific, the fair specifics on it. Okay, let me just go ahead and highlight a couple things. Yeah, three facts of my choice about any of the following subjects. Yeah. I'm really hoping once again that it's an elemental engine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good chance. Not 100%, but I think there's a good chance. Yeah. Uh, and then minerals. Why don't you are the poorest rocks? They're supposed to be from, from ash debris. Uh, it'd, be, uh. it'd be the standard like volcanic rock. I can't remember its name. Probably, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think if there'd be any like cool... Abyss. Abyss. As you said from us earlier. Hmm. What's that? Oh, that? Pumice. No, pumice, not pumice. Oh, no. Rock. Porous. Porous rock. Porous rock, yep. Oh! Apparently, uh... Ash consists of predominantly of uh, individual crystals. Uh, crystal tufts, apparently. Hmm. It's a type nice, of nice. crystal made out of ash. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Tougher uh, case. Roll me a d6 plus 2, Alvina. Okay. To determine the type of rock. 5. 3. 4. For our future mining uh, expeditions. Yeah, for future <laughs> mining expeditions. Okay, uh, you pick up uh, sizable diamond quantities in the blue highlighted rocks. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. good to know. Because, <laughs> you know, diamond. there's some carbon in here. It got pressurized. There's diamonds now. Yeah, it makes sense. You can, fi you can find diamonds in meteors quite a lot, so... Yeah. Uh, the red highlighted Marbles. ones, uh, you notice what appears to be four uh, hollowed out and artificially um, filled uh, asteroid ships, as well as one larger mothership. Uh, still not nearly as big as the um, as the Firestar, yeah. probably maybe about four times the size of your ship, uh, similar size to the larger asteroids they were throwing. Uh, but they do appear to be made out of the uh, a very similar rock, so that at least from the exterior, a little bit less porous than these ones out here. Mm -hmm. um, but enough to blend in with the scenery if they were to take a stealth check. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it for in terms of buildings and materials. What was the second question? It was minerals and which diamonds. is diamonds. I and mean, the last one was powerful elementals. Powerful elementals. I know we're pinging him. I, I guarantee. Hey, I'm pinging him. him. <laughs> um, there'll be some very minor baby fire stars powering the, the smaller ships, and then like an adolescent one powering the medium ship. Okay. Uh, or or a. Yeah. There is a fire star. I can forget what the uh, I can't remember what the actual creature's name is, because um, I, I think they are actually called fire stars, <laughs> and they're just and that's what the ships are named after. But I can't actually double check or confirm that right now. So, yeah, but it's actually, not relevant. So anyway, yeah. Uh, would there be anything else in this area? What What's the range? Like three miles? Three miles. Roll me d twenty. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's see how lucky you are. 16. 16? Oh. <laughs> so lucky, one way or the other. <laughs> Is there anything interesting I can add to, to this? <laughs> Void Leviathan. <laughs> Void Leviathan. She's out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, where is it? Looking for one second. Do, do, do. Click this. There we go. Just gonna see if there's anything like crystal based that would be interesting to have come up from the like the ground beneath. Entirely possible. 
Ooh, there's an Emix stat block. Let's just throw Emix in there. <laughs> Emix is here! Any Emix. notable elementals? Well, I mean, Emix is just there. Emix is just there. there. Um, okay. No, I, I like that. That makes sense. Um, this area seems to be home to some space-born Zorn. Space Zorns, nice. Space Zorn, uh, that are obviously consuming minerals from from the asteroids. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to add one of these nearby, because that makes sense to add as part of the, the nature here. <laughs> Let me grab a nice little token for it. Horrifying as a concept, because it means it's powerful. Because literally, it's powerful elementals. Like, oh. <laughs> The Gigazon. Uh, I mean, it's like relatively powerful. I don't think it pulls a challenge to the group yeah. like by itself, but as like a little environmental additional, it's fun. Yeah, I approve. It's powerful. It just its power is not combat based. Just the party's powerful. Yeah, the party is also pretty powerful. Um, how big do I want? Uh there. I mean, everything on this is pretty much five, five foot. Ah, uh, even a big Zorn. You could put like a because a zone zone a medium, right? It could be a large one. It's like a space. Uh, zone. well, big zones are large already. Oh, huge then. Giant size zone. No, no, I mean large is large. It's it's more than um, like the, these squares already take up like ah. what sixty feet. Yeah, true. <laughs> sixty foot. Even if it's gargantuan, it's not going to be bigger. <laughs> um, because it's still a creature and it's not like a massive leviathan creature or anything. Uh, so that's, that's fine. I'll just put it at one square. I'm trying to think where where it might be nice to to put it because it's currently. Well, I guess it's making its way towards one of the diamonds, because that's what it's feeding on. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it up here in the top right, and it's slowly going to make its way down to this first diamond rock. Also, by oh, the way... I'm, I'm going to have the Zorn eat your diamonds. You have to choose whether or not you stop it or not. <laughs> also, by the oh. way, point with... What's this? What's... Well, hang on. <laughs> the giant red highlight on the top right-hand corner of the map. About like this thing? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, just left over from the past combat. Okay, I literally so went, That is... was there last week, and I just assumed it was something I missed. Yeah, it was one of my radius circles uh, for, for doing distance. Um, There you go. Cool. I've turned that, actually turned that off. <laughs> cool. I was literally like, what is this? I need to just know. <laughs> is the thing? No, is it fine. a star just there? <laughs> There's no stars in Altair. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> this is a solar system-sized system. <laughs> With uh, with the rainbow wall as its star. Yeah. But yeah, I will be reiterating to the party while Alvina's eyes glow weirdly, and anyone who can see it sees a big freaking spirit dragon talking to her. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is like the animal spirit is what talks to out is what talks to her for it. That's that's how it fluffs for barbarian. So. What if I may have the old stab? Canoe with nature used. And yeah, she'll she'll go. There's a bunch of diamonds in those locations. There's a giant zone. Also, uh, four adolescent fires, uh, fires, four baby uh, uh, fire starts around four ships, and one adolescent on a larger on a larger central ship. That's probably the mothership. Interesting. So we're definitely going to want to approach stealthily. Yes. And ideally, not to get the ship seen at all. Agreed. And it's only four times bigger than us, so we shouldn't get... Not only four times, that's fine. The big one. Well, yeah, but four times means it's small enough that we're not <clears> going to just be <throat> blotted out by it. So, we want to... Plot a course that tracks us round through behind rocks to the back of them, be able to warp in behind it, and then board it, disable it, and get out before they can know what the hell happened. Well, I'd like it for us to not have your ship blown out of the air because if they don't see the ship, they don't know what happened. If we can make this look like just an engine failure and we didn't cause it, it'd be a little easier. 
Also, I don't know how the hell we do an engine failure with a fire star. Uh, kidnap the creature? Do you know how big they are? Oh, uh, make a deal with the creature they don't yeah, want to. Convince the creature to leave on its own, of its own accord. Yeah. Something along those lines. Where's it going to leave to? Uh, new rock. Mm. Just move out. <laughs> so, our fire star. Just have some more in there. <laughs> Backup pilot. I mean, it's not the worst idea we've ever heard. It's not saying a lot, though. Yeah, like I said, we've had some pretty bad ideas. <laughs> it's not Low bar. <laughs> Um, hmm. What are we going to do, gang? I think... Definitely, I think we should definitely cut left. Right? Just generally. Keep, away, keep out of the way of the yeah. zone. There's a lot more meteors over here. Hmm. We can nab some diamonds on the way out. It'll be great. Yeah. Well, at least move to here so we had a direct line of sight. From yeah. Some of them. I was thinking if we Just... could get to like this formation here, where the meteors are quite close together. All right, we... somebody draw the path. Okay. We'll Where's... see how the world reacts. Where's the drawing tools? Oh, this is going to end horribly. Okay. <laughs> just... Go on, this is like one of those little little um mat car game things that <laughs> oh, <dang it. laughs> oh, that's exactly <laughs> <laughs> How say, oh, yeah, I know exactly why are we drifting? <laughs> if we can dr we can drift a ship. Uh. Fuck you's can... path is the Eurobeat path. Mm. But yeah, I think if we could get to this location, in theory, we might be able to get that diamond here as well. Also, we'll steal this one on the way out. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely going past one close enough. We go past two. I say we go. I thought mine and Gwent's paths are fairly similar, and then there's fuck you's. And <laughs> What's the and points in the bottom right, which is just a beard. <laughs> just a face. <laughs> Following the sort of red path, but can we? What is the distance between? Uh, I need to put on the ping tool. Here and here. What? Here and there looks to be about like 360 feet or 300 feet, depending on how close you get to the asteroid. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if we continue, go that path and warp into this area. So. Because that bit to cut off that gap here, that bit here is a bit exposed. Whereas mm. if we Ooh, jump to you, here, you do have your teleportation. Yeah, it's a very valuable tool. Good shout, yeah. Good shout. The other option and the chance, the chance of it recharging between the points, so we can jump to locations that are putting us closer to them without being directly there. This is the smart one. Also, I think... Also, by the way, do we have any, like, void sooty things that you've made, Zormir? Void? Uh, I think the only thing I have for dealing with the void is the... Gee, wait a minute. Apple. Question I'm... on the suits of armor we got from the giants. How size-changing are they? Are we talking like the Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles spacesuits that you like press a button and they mold to you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, so per, because this previously came up, um, yeah. Zormir can spend downtime to resize them, okay. but they are not resizable in a short frame of time. Cool. There's a glyph that basically will activate to put air bubbles on us, which is a basically from the books that are to deal with space travel. It means that we can breathe, but we're still going to take the void things. Yeah. Okay. That's not fair. You don't actually. You don't need to breathe in astral. See. Mm. Oh, fair. 
because it's still the astral sea it's not actually space yeah, um true. uh it's it's psychic uh -huh. energies that you need to worry about which is what your your shielding is for yeah okay because the have... astral sea is filled with a lot of stuff yep don't we have silver arcanite still uh not silver uh, but uh, uh, twisted the... silver twisted silver not a uh, lot. We'll use most of it in me. making Lou. Mm -hmm. Well, send Lou then. He can disable it all by himself. Mm -hmm. Send the yeah. person who's he's not, not here. <laughs> also, he's the only person who talked to the, the the pilot the last time as well. So, yeah, totally send Lou. He can be our ambassador in this mission. Hey, he requested yeah. we didn't start a war. He's, he's going to start a war. war. Yeah, us making him start a war. Uh... Do some checks. Gotta do some checks. Do do. Oh. Twisted silver. Uh. Twisted silver. I'm looking through my couch sheet, see how much we've got left. Uh, would we have to be attuned to the twisted silver out of curiosity, Chris? Or just wearing it um, might take the edge off. For psychic energies. I mean, you fashion it just like into like a into like a tinfoil hat. Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It, it's it's because it's this natural property, so it doesn't require achievement. Cool. Because I remember getting like the psychic resistance damage was an achievement one, so that's what I was checking. Um. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My tin four hat looks fabulous. Twisted <laughs> so I know I have at least one left. I have a very bad idea for a guess over there. Quick, once we're in a sort of a range for a get across there. Hilariously, Alvina can get herself over there, and she knows she can. She just wants to be not turned into a... a against you guys, ravenous monster. Hmm. Because if we can get to somewhere in a decent location that we're not going to be... Oh, by... I remember now. Okay, wait a minute. It's actually on the spreadsheet, because Alvina gave up her Twisted Silver personally. To get up, to, to, for Lou, which means that it'll be on the spreadsheet, wherever the spreadsheet is. <laughs> is this the play uh, is it the player companion? No, I think the spreadsheet's it. just called the little the little bad guys. The little bad guys. Is it pinned? Uh, yeah, it's pinned in one of the chats. Hilariously, not the main one. I think, <laughs> so it's, I like, I think it's in info. Uh, it's, it's it's in items and maps. Items and maps. Why are you pin it in the main one? I'm not sure why it's not. I was say, it'd be handy. <laughs> Egg, yeah. Pin. Pin. Twisted silver. Right will be in T. Yeah, not like, oh. uh, I don't, I don't think we've really cleaned up no. this in a long time. No. Come I don't. Times. I don't see any twisted Silver on here. Twisted. Anyway, were we, yes, were we leaving the ship? What was this for specifically, anyway? I think we for might getting, be getting between the ship and their ship. Yeah, we might actually. Oh, be I mean, I mean, that's that's a short enough distance. I don't think you need to worry about it. It's only long distance traveling that's the issue. You just can't travel the astral sea without it. Oh, okay. okay. Then I w I was worried because you were talking about like depends how long you're out there. Last session. So like, oh yeah, I, that's why. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is a good point of like where you're actually putting the ship. Because if you're, I was thinking of like an action or two to get over there. But if it is like ten whole minutes, then maybe. Yeah, because I was thinking we put it like well out of sight and we go over that way. Where where should we put? Are we somewhere up here or in behind here somewhere? Because I'm saying there's there's gonna be more. Behind this bit. There we oh, no. go. I found it. It was on my hey. character sheet. God damn, we have more than I thought left. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't have those, so we have yeah. We have ten units left. Um. So how much will it take to bash? Uh, ten foil hat each is probably one each, right? We're not huge people. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm. Um, I think I'll be sending Randy because. He might have more... Better infiltration than Zorme, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I've got locate... I've went and put up locate creature, and uh, I think if we use reverse gravity, 
than the right way we could fire ourselves across there. That's my bad idea with Randy. Oh, I mean, you could literally just have a couple people hold on to Alvina and fuck you. We could rock it our way over. Completely controlled. Well, we could usually slow us down. The gravity would give us a slingshot if we had to be quite far back. Did I'm this just going to hold on to Alvina. Hey, yo, no, no, do you want to be rocking it off or do you want to just be jetpacked? <laughs> that's why I'm saying how far back are we going to park the ship? And uh, what distance is that? Because we've either got in behind here somewhere. Okay, if we put, if we put ourselves by the diamond, here, that actually is about the close. Okay, it's 1,200 feet. Main reason, if we have the ship here, while we're away doing the infiltration, Zorma can be harvesting this asteroid. Okay. Yeah, Zorma and Lou are just on asteroid duty. Yeah. That's a lot more ships. Oh, don't worry, these guys are actual, like, giants. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. That's why. I yeah. what I thought when I saw you put in groups of four. Uh, I'm going to switch the ships over to purple, just to make it more obvious. Yeah. Um, uh, but they're, 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 uh, apparently, your giants have not actually done a good enough job persuading them, because they've sent you guys to get more asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. We didn't think they were going to do a good job anyway. No. Probably, they're probably still in debates, honestly. I doubt the debriefing took this short amount of time. <laughs> yeah, especially because the prior scouts would have already gotten back by now. Exactly, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so is, uh, there's a good chance it's just in response to the prior scouts saying, like, we failed. It's like, okay, four teams this time, four asteroids, let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're making our way from here. Uh, from oh. from behind the leftmost diamonds. What? Teleport. Because we can have the ship there, and honestly, if we're lucky, and we might be able to do this, <laughs> we can stealth quite convincingly using something very funny as a tactic. Oh. You see this small asteroid here? Yeah. You think between me and fuck you in space where it's got a much less weight, we can just fly around with it, like holding it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right? If you can't, I, I can at least launch it in a specific direction. We can just go behind it. That was what I was thinking, but literally hold on to it because it's just a drifting asteroid's getting kind of close. They might shoot it, but that might give us cover if they actually shoot it. I could launch some other rock. Stop trying to throw rocks at us. It will kill us, Bob. No, I mean at them. Or yeah. in a direction. No. <laughs> Send some rocks to collide that they start. No, because then they'll be watching. We are The idea of it is them not paying attention to us. Would you guys like me just slowly updating this map as people are doing things? Yep. But yeah, uh, I think... Randy wants to throw things. Stop throwing things. You're here because you can turn into a small animal and <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. You think you think that'll be doable, Chris? Between me and fuck you if we basically act as Oh yeah, to move an asteroid, yeah. Move no, you can move one of the small ones. Yeah. Um as you were as you were doing this, while well, Vina's line of sight, um you are able to occasionally see just the passing of these little squadrons of fire giants as they begin to move some of the asteroids, and you become aware off the fact that the ships have sent out more squads to start moving asteroids, presumably towards the Fire Star. Okay. We should get on this quickly. Yes. I'll radio back to the Fire Star if I can. Are mm -hmm. we still within range? We're definitely within range. It's... Uh, yeah, you're still in the same hex. So is a is because it's just a sending spell. Yeah. Um, you've just got sending stones effectively, but mm -hmm. slightly fancier looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, incoming! Be prepared to. Oh. Sending stones are just radios. Hold <laughs> while we do this job, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, yeah. Uh, who's holding on to Alvina? Because I think this will matter more because I don't want to know what fuck you's going to do. So <laughs> I'm holding on to Alvina. Uh, are we doing anything with this uh, diamond asteroid for now? Or are we going to deal with this when we get back? Uh, Zormier's... Zormier's We're leaving Lou and Zorma on the ship to deal with, the, uh, deal, deal deal with, with the that. Diamond. Okay, so you guys are just mining for the diamond while the rest are all salmon. Yes. 
Fair, fair, okay. It's on the it's crane good, side it's of the ship. Party. <laughs> it's on the crane side of the ship. It'll be fine. Uh, it's actually on the opposite side. Crane side yeah. on, the oh, left. on the left. Okay. Yeah, you can see it on the. Little, you can actually see it on the little icon. Armour is. Oh, yeah. Armour is. Is he be maneuvering the for the return to go back? Yeah, he's anyway. already turned. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Now it's on the right side. Cool. And uh, so who? So imagining. Yeah. So so is it just point holding on to Alvina and Quent does? <laughs> Is oh, if a... the choice is between you and fuck you, the one we know is definitely evil. <laughs> yeah. like, this fuck you is like amulet, like slapping people in the face as they go. <laughs> Attach I mean, them strapped to the back of Alvina. <laughs> After what happened with Alvina earlier, he's very tempted to just like palm it and just shove into people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> just slide your hand into people. Uh, are you evil or just a nuisance? Yes. <laughs> I don't. I haven't put my alignment with Randy yet. You really <laughs> should. You really should. Uh, Apparently, imagine if each, if each personality of Randy has a different alignment. Well, I mean oh, that makes sense. It. To be fair, I'll allow this. Each personality should take up one of the alignments. The captain's definitely yeah. chaotic good. I'm calling that now. And chaotic neutral for the, the, the Randy. chef is lawful evil. <laughs> yeah, the chef is lawful <laughs> evil. Definitely. <laughs> But he makes great cuisine. <laughs> I'm gonna rip his head off. <laughs> <laughs> gonna wait. I'll be just gonna wait until that personality takes over, then lobotomize him. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be ca like, neutral or chaotic evil for the main Randy. The one. I think <laughs> the, the, the 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 which actually where which main Randy? The robot or the mushroom? The mushroom. The mushroom probably lawful evil as well. The robot, <laughs> true neutral. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to start knowing he's down somewhere. Some There's literally an alignment chart on the character sheet. I know, but it's, it gives me one alignment. Yeah, they've got and... multiple alignments. Hey, you can type, it's typing. Oh, at least it's, it's on roll 20, it's typable. You can just yeah. put the list. <laughs> you know, I want to see, I want to see Zormir go and get a little, get like the same picture because obviously it's the same body, and just put them in all of the alignments with just different names. <laughs> Surely yeah. with different like fake mustaches, so, just different, the difference. different hats and different, no, different and hats and accessories because the captain's <laughs> got like pirate hat, like big triangle. Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean that every time? They change personality. They like pull out a hat and start adjusting their cosmetics. That's yes. what the cloak of items is for. That's what the cloak of items is for. I feel like the cloak of many fashions yeah, works better in this instance. The chef. They're the um, character from um, uh, uh, Avatar that um, puts on different hats. Oh, the oh, that, guy. that yeah, guy yeah. from the from the from the village. Yeah. What yeah, did the you say? Village. Yeah. The, or the mushroom. The mushroom, Randy. The Definitely lawful druid. evil. Lawful evil. The, the mushroom one is lawful evil. It's the psychic one. All right, so <laughs> he walks up to go along with fuck you and goes, "Hey, cool brooch." <laughs> that does it. I know it changes yeah, it to I've... chaotic evil. I don't think it hurts you if you're evil, though. Yeah, if you're evil, it doesn't hurt you. If you are neutral, it does um, like sixty-six damage. Yeah, and if you're um, good, it's 8d6. Oh, it's 8d6, okay. Yeah, lawful evil than Thank you for this! Just... Thank you for the shielding point! <laughs> I, took well. I took a fireball! I took a fireball! Lawful evil ones, just like, that looks cool. <laughs> just let's go after cool. looking at it. Yeah, so Randy is holding on to fuck you. And the other two are holding on to Alvina. As she is... Randy don't... Because <laughs> Randy don't care. <laughs> yeah. Also, if uh, we don't finish this for this time, uh, Lou is either on the ship or holding her to fuck you, I guess. Depending where he wants yeah. to be if we if this mm. carries on more than the session, right? <laughs> or he can stick with the story of he's helping mine with... Uh... That's what I said. He's either, um, he's either holding just, on yeah. to fuck you or on the ship, or whichever they want. If, if Neil is back... Before we leave the ship, yeah, yeah, he can he can pick. So yeah, so uh, Alvida is going to uh, 
pretty much just let go. Well, time to go. And just drop off the side of the ship and rocket boost out. Just scream in your ear. Yeah, probably like there's probably a second Warning. where there's no jets on. <laughs> As well, it's just fall. <laughs> you just feel me getting slowly more and more holding tighter. Yep. <laughs> she loves flying. It's fine. Are we doing the same? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you firefly. It just is. <laughs> just constant streams of fire bolts. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I've been literally doing the rocket feet. <laughs> I see. All right, let me just double check some stuff. Okay, that will do for now. Oh yeah, yeah why not? We've also all got the twisted silver hat or headband on, I guess. Mine is fashioned into a. A fashionable hat, and I'm going to try and work out what the type of hat would suit the point. Alvinas is definitely just like chain tiara looking thing. Hmm. Like in under her hair. A beret, that's what it is. A beret! <laughs> that would suit, that'd be cool. Tinfoil beret. Tinfoil beret. <laughs> this poor, this grab the um, L around his head. <laughs> Ow! Enough! <laughs> <laughs> So you were like, how do I fit this to myself? I went, Alvin went, give me a second. Grabs your head, grabs chain of one and just stabs it into your forehead. I'll do. Out, get it out, get it out, get it out. <laughs> just gives a nail, just nails it to the plane. Oh, God. This is going to be worse because these basically, all the other personalities are just like kicking imprints. You're basically fucking him over right now with that. Yes. I am okay with this. Ow, ow. Why did you do this? Alve Alveda's thought, if we remove... If we, all, all she, oh, there only needs to be one personality left in it, and the captain. <laughs> I'm fine with the captain. The captain can be the main personality. <laughs> I believe the fire is already... Working on murdering each other. Uh, <laughs> let's convert this rock to a color so we can kind of designate what it is. Let's do a nice little yellow. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, so you've all flown down to the meteorite. Right? Yes. Uh, everyone who is ready to go is uh, currently holding on to Alvina and Fook you, it sounds like. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then Alvina and Fook you, I need you both to give me a pyromancy check oh, you know i believe you have enough power i actually care more about the movement so i need you both to give me a dexterity pyromancy check so a dexterity ability check with proficiency cool do i get any bonuses for being level two or is it just the same either way uh just the same either cool. way you'll you'll be adding like two-thirds of the power to propul propulsion wise okay if that makes it, it, does. it does yeah <laughs> guidance um... Uh, but your ability to control the flame is more based on you guys than uh, inspiration as well. Who's the guidance on? Uh, he's on holding the, on to Alvina. I'm holding on to Alvina. Yeah, them. he's holding on to Alvina. Yeah. Is that... um, yeah, mine would be plus five to this then. Mine is just using acrobatics. Uh, so, that's... so I got guidance. Let's roll one D4. Oh, wait, no, it's not plus five to that. It'd be. 27. Mine's 18. Five. Oh, yeah, you've got half, so yeah. 27 plus 18. I think you two <laughs> do a great job maneuvering this asteroid. Okay. Uh, all right, which which path are we, are we going through here? Um, are you going to try and get it through this, like, really narrow gap between these three? I mean, considering the two people that are being the propulsion, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm ready with an emergency catapult to just... Push that one out of the way. <laughs> okay, let's see. It is coming towards the ship. We're going to probably go up at a bit of an angle. Okay, so it's not like on a collision course, but yeah. it'll like pass. pass very let's see close. how. Let's let's do a fate check to see how risk averse whoever is on the monitoring for incoming <laughs> asteroid feels about the proximity distance. 
good for you guys. Unfortunately, I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, they're just feeling trigger happy and like they don't even they don't even think it's a threat. They're it's, just like, ooh, an moving intern. asteroid. It's the tone and he's bored. <laughs> so, yeah, so they're bored. They're not they're not paying attention. So uh, who, yeah. as as you two are kind of like focused on maneuvering the ship, is there anybody particularly focused on uh, monitoring the ship or looking out for any anything else? Who's who's on scout duty? I I would be if Alvin is too busy. Randy is healing. Out to it, Alvina does have danger sense. Randy's you do, and that'll matter when yeah. you know the cannon's already been fired. Yeah. But I would be staring directly at the ship, worried. So yes. Okay, then then the other three of you go ahead and give me a perception check as you are monitoring your surrounding areas. Okay. Thank God for Gwen. <laughs> I don't know what the point's doing, but the point is heavily distracted. Point, the so, point gets motion sickness, it turns out. Uh, no, no, what I'm picturing is because both both me and Gwent are riding Alvina, I've just got Gwent entirely in front of me. He's just a horse ass. Just a horse <laughs> ass, my wife. Wait, just... why wouldn't you just be on my back? Why are you by my ass? Because he's well, holding if, on if to I am on your back, he, I'm no, then blocked by your torso. No, no, he's holding on to one of Alvina's arms. Like, he's on, like, around the bicep. <laughs> Unfortunately, Point's not got very good grip and slipped, and he's now holding on to one of Alvina's legs and just directly oh, behind shit. Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> I have fly if I need it, but I'm trying not to use it. Oh, and luckily... Randy's... Gwen, Randy's uh... Around, everywhere, all directions. I, I just make a gesture at Randy and fuck you, just don't talk about this. <laughs> uh, Gwen and Randy, you both see what appears to be two large directional, almost like a turret gun, uh, slide down what appears to be like these rails dug into the into the asteroid uh, you kind of see like there's there's almost like these small valleys dug into it that allows for 360 maneuvering off these cannons as they slide down the grid and kind of um, go to like one of the horizontal grids and moves over aims it directly at your moving asteroid what would you like to do incoming captain we're gonna get shot at we're gonna get shot at okay we plan for this fuck you on my mark Kick off the asteroid. Aim for this one. Okay. For I mean, it's not one. letting me ping. There we go. <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay. okay. Three, As two, you are one. Alvin is going to literally um, jack boot the asteroid towards the ship. And as we kick <laughs> off and aim in a different direction, basically. Okay. Uh, give me a constitution check this time with proficiency. Cool. As you push all of your energy downwards, really propel yourself momentum wise. Fifteen, I will use the inspiration that Point gave me earlier for this. Yep. One D eight, right? Mine would be plus uh is it eight? Is the eight point, right? Yeah. Plus the eight. Three to this code. And uh, if, uh, is, this a, is this a check? Is this a check? check, technically. Okay, so that's a roll twice and take the highest. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they did roll a six, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll take nope. the seven. I'll take the seven. <laughs> I won the dice. That yeah. makes sense. Uh, yep, between the two of you, you both are able to oh, just geez. pump enough fire energy in that you propel uh, far enough to be out of the danger zone as behind you, two bolts of magma missiles impact into the asteroid and just shatter it. Yeah. Nice spotting as we land on this bigger asteroid. <laughs> Fortunately, I uh, cannot make these any smaller. Yeah. Um, I want to make them dark. That's what color they normally are. Well, there we go. And then I guess we'll turn this one to yellow. Mm -hmm. As you are now behind it. Yep. I guess the easy way for this, that's a makeable gap for us, right? <laughs> Do we want to be more stealthy now? I mean, yeah, we're not going to move the whole asteroid. Yeah, go ahead and uh, everyone give me a stealth check as you are Before approaching we... the ship. Uh, Before Chris, we do that... yeah. does this count as natural phenomena that we're hiding in? 
Yeah, it's an yeah, asteroid. Right. That's fine. Cool. Because I've got Mask of the Wild, so I've got an yeah. advantage. Yay! Uh, Bob, what are you saying? Before we get anywhere they can see this, I'm going to cast Last of a Trace on us. Oh, Ooh, nice. And good shout. Hmm. If any, unless any of you roll really badly, that, that should do it. I mean, I rolled real badly. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, That's a 27. I, I, I reckon you're fine with Fast Without a Trace. Are you guys already adding the plus 10s? 27 no, I, with Fast Without a Trace. I didn't. So I got 30 with the plus 10. No. And 23. Okay. And Randy, okay. And it's hardly bad if you guys even with I your mean, fucking modifiers. Bad for us. <laughs> I don't even think Gwen and you can fail. <laughs> <laughs> you we both got, like, you both got like plus well. 20. Oh. 26? Yeah, we're fine. Because I've got a, <laughs> I've got a zero yeah, modifier. It's, it's still like a 15 DC, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're concerned, Chris. Let us be concerned. <laughs> what is the passive of a fire giant? It's passive 16. Is that, I was course. trying to work out which of you to flash, but no need. It's passive without nah. trace, we're fine. Passive without mm. trace in yeah. most cases is good. <laughs> Don't worry, you're, not seeking, you're seeking up a giant ship where people still have to visually observe. Uh, it's not a sleeping dragon. And we're literally mm. running over the top of an asteroid and jumping this gap. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, what? Rocketing One's this a... gap, I guess. A small green goblin, a metal man with spores all over him. A very fiery giant. <laughs> a barbarian <laughs> elf. A <laughs> barbarian elf is the only way. <laughs> a horse and a... And what are the help points? <laughs> and, yeah... <laughs> A vaguely I celestial do... dwarf and a very short an... and a very short half angel. <laughs> yep. Hide your wings. <laughs> they're, they're not permanently out. They are optional. Yep. <laughs> this isn't Pathfinder. One e. <laughs> I might pop them out for the fleeing, but they're fine mm -hmm. for now. Yeah. I've not spent any more wild chips, so we've got some options for fleeing as well. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, let's see. It is an asteroid, but they do have a effectively a docking area for actually letting the soldiers out. So it does appear to be what what is like um oh what looks to be a stone doorway in in uh there's a little like platform that comes with just like a little bit it looks like a like a doorway in a mountainside effectively uh, that indicates that this clearly some form of entrance unless you would like to mold her for anything somewhere else. Uh, that looks to be the easiest place to get in, but what would the party like to do? Honestly? Then, is there like a... It, the door might not be the best option. Is there like a vent that isn't literally the propulsion system vent? Like, there's literally no fire coming out of it right this second. Um, like a, like there... a heat exhaust, essentially. Yeah, the problem is they quite like the heat. I know, but it, if it gets too much heat, it's going to explode. <laughs> it's the big problem. Well, I mean, say like, they, like, they like the heat. The rock only likes so much. Because <laughs> mm. if hot mm. air can't be like... Roll me a perception check. Let's find that. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's just one right over, right over there. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a perfectly um, situated exhaust point. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a... There's been uh, space weevils digging through it, and it's dug a nice little... <laughs> it t turns out the Zorn was on this ship earlier and just... Bit a hole out. in it? <laughs> okay, so we go to the exhaust port. Got to figure out where the hell the exhaust port comes out. <laughs> Okay. Assuming towards probably like the mid, the middle ish of the ship, probably not like crazy near the engine, but probably like close enough. Close enough. Okay. Well, I'll figure that out because I need to finalize the map anyway. We do have four minutes until break as well, so. Uh, so we are gonna we're effectively gonna start the break early because I need to go get some more water anyway, and then I'll finish up the map. Yeah. And then we'll go into the ship. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. All right, uh, we're back in a couple minutes. Woo! Yay! This went.
better than expected already. I didn't yeah. expect we'd get this far this successfully. <laughs> nope. Eh, at worst, I go Gash's farm and we, I can sneak any even easier. Just pour through the any Just gas. Gas is the issue. Gas's farm's probably not a bad shout to get us to get you further in. In theory, to be honest, like you, that's honestly a reason why we could get Randy on this is because. Randy's really we can get him inside. Randy's really freaking good at infiltration just by being a druid. Like high level druid just is good at this. So Yeah, I was tempted to take one of the uh, a mold or shape earth thing. But... Mold is good, yeah. It would it would have been handy, but it's you never know, right? I tried to take uh, some things to find locate the creature and other things like that, and I've figured if I'm gonna be concentrating on uh, the stealth one or pass without a trace for now, yeah, I don't want to use too many concentration things. Honestly, good shout. Pass without a trace is gonna be really freaking handy. 